allow me to share my screen and discuss with you our program, the AB Communication Program. I'm very, very, very proud of the program that we have at the University of San Agustin. So um, I will share my screen now and I will discuss to you in detail the content of the screen, of the presentation. Okay, so the name of the program is AB Communication Program. So if you want to read the policy standards and guidelines which govern this particular program, you may visit uh, CHED website and look for CMO 35 series of 2017. So the program goals of, um, the program goals of this uh, program is to equip students with the knowledge and skills and the theory and practice of communication applicable in various professions and contexts with focus on media professions. If you will enroll to this course and eventually you'll be successful in graduating from this course, there's a wide array of professions and careers and occupations which you can land. So these are, um, the, the professions and careers, public and corporate communication or information officers, social science and communication researchers and analysts, communication and media planners and managers, program project development officers, public relations and advertising practitioners, media practitioners, learning system designers, multimedia designers, and allied related professions. And now, since you're already in the era of, uh, we are already in a digital era, you may also get an occupation that is aligned or related to this specific field. And that would be social media manager and um, digital marketer, among others. So always remember that a communication degree holder is needed in almost all of organizations, whether it is private or government. So if you want to survey um, big companies and corporations and government agencies, you will notice that there is a one com person there, and that is the information officers or the corporate communications um, division, which uh, a com graduate could actually join and be part of that department in in, in a specific private organization. So in short, uh, wala sang company or corporation nga wala nag-hire sa isa ka communication graduate because it is multifaceted, it is versatile, and you can be assigned to any department. And the lifeblood, one of the lifeblood of, um, of an organization is communication. So if you're an expert in this field, surely you will be um, wanted by different private and government agencies. Now, I am also have the honor to present to you the faculty members and the academic supervisor of this program, should you wish to be part of our, of the ABCOM. So I would like to introduce myself. Um, I am Roda Campilian, which was introduced uh, by Ms. Haya just a while ago. And I finished my broadcast communication from University of the Philippines, Visayas. Cum laude, and I also uh, finished my Master's of Development Communication from University of the Philippines Open University. And currently, I'm finishing my Doctor of Communication program at University of the Philippines Open University. And if God willing, I will be able to finish it by next year. Um, and I'm very, very proud to present to you, to our audience via Facebook Live, the faculty members. These will be your teachers, should you wish to enroll in our program. We have Ms. Trisha Aguirre. Um, she is currently finishing her Master's of Mass Communication from West Visaya State University. We have uh, Ms. Hyacinth Bangero, who is a Master of Mass Communication from West Visaya State University. And she likewise finished 
her undergraduate degree from West Visaya State University, Bachelor of Broadcasting, Magna Cum Laude. And she's uh, currently the Assistant Director and Marketing Officer of the Philanthropic External Alumni Relations Office of the University. So I'll go back to Ms. Aguirre. No? I was not able to um, discuss her undergrad and her present position. So Ms. Aguirre is a graduate of AB Mass Communication of St. Paul University, Iloilo. And currently, she is the communication officer of the university under the office of the president. We have also here Ms. Michelle R. Bayawa. Um, she's a graduate of Cordillera University, Cum Laude, finishing her EB Mass Communication degree. And she is a holder of Master of Arts in English degree from Cordillera University still. We have also in our roster, Mr. Gordon Gilliergan who is uh, currently the associate of the Innovation Technology Support Office of the, of the university. And he finished his AB Mass Communication from St. Paul University, Iloilo. His uh, Master's of Business Administration from International Academy of Management and Economics. And he likewise finished Juris Doctor from Central Philippine University. Uh, we have another faculty member in the person of Mr. John Mark Buda. So Mr. Guda is the news head of Pampanga News, ABS-CBN Regional, and an executive producer and director of PV Patrol Pampanga. He is a graduate of uh, BA Broadcast Communication from the University of the Philippines, Visayas. We have also here as one of our faculty members, Ms. Leolet Esther Hubag, who is a uh, who used to be the property manager of the Iloilo Convention Center. Ms. Subag finished her AB Mass Communication from St. Paul University, Iloilo, and currently finishing her Master's of Mass Communication from West Visaya State University. We have also with us Ms. Helen C. Romero, who finished her EB Mass Communication from St. Paul University, Iloilo, and um, her MA Public Communication from Fordham University, New York City. She is currently the director of the University of the uh, University of San Agustin uh, Research Foundation Development Office. We have also uh, we are also lucky to have with us Ms. Uh, Dr. Walter Yodelmo, who finishes BS Development Communication from West Visayas State University, and is Master of Development Communication from University of the Philippines Los Banos. He finishes uh, Doctor of Public Administration from Trinity University of Asia. So here is uh, the expertise of our faculty members in the field of um, in this field. So for broadcast, uh, for broadcast industry experience, uh, we have uh, myself, who used to be a reporter, an executive producer, and a host also of. ABS-CBN. We have uh, Mr. Gilliergan, who is used to be a radio DJ of, um, used to be a radio DJ, a segment producer, and a talent coordinator. We have Miss Aguirre, who used to be director, writer, and floor director. Uh, hanggang ngayon pa naman, we still, <laughs> we still do our production jobs if um, we are being called <laughs> to, to, to perform. And we have Mr. John Mark Guda, who is a news chief and a reporter. Print industry experience we have with us, Ms. Michelle Bayawa, who used to be a magazine writer and a news writer as well. We have digital media marketing. So that's Ms. Hyacinth Bangero as the marketing officer and a social media manager of uh, University of San Agustin. Events management. We have with us Ms. Hubag, who is a property manager and an events manager as well. And communication research experts, we have Ma'am Helen Romero and Doc Walter Yadelmo. Now, I would like to present to you the curriculum of, of our program. So our curriculum includes general education courses, core courses, required courses, electives, and thesis special projects. Courses that would generate a particular track, concentration, or area specialization may also be offered. So these are the subjects that you will be uh, meeting or take. These are the subjects that you will be able to take if you enroll in the AB Communications program. So if you have interests in the subjects and if you would like to learn more, 
then you might want to join us. So these are the, the subjects. Integrated marketing communication, introduction to film, multimedia storytelling, digital storyboarding, social media and mobile technology for campaigns, web content management, acting and directing for film, writing for film and TV, digital publishing, documentary film, brand packaging, and design. So if these are the subjects or courses that you intend to take, then you might want to enroll with us. Now, our laboratory. So this is, I would just like to show you the architect's perspective of our um, laboratory. This is still uh, under renovation and it will be ready come the opening of classes. So this is the architect's perspective of our laboratory for communication students. Now, I'm, I'm also proud to pre present to you the achievements of our alumni and our students, something that we are very proud to present to you. Okay, these are the, the uh, little victories of our program, and we are very much proud to present it to all of you. So two of our students, two of our alumni, okay, uh, one best direction award and third best documentary in the National Council for Children's Television. So for their film, Public School. So these students are our alumni, Noelin Maricho Campo and Michael Angelo Sarate. So they were cited as best direction award and third best documentary for the said contest. Our student also um, in the person of um, John Resti Dabalus and Rinshin Olivete were recipients of a grant by the office uh, given by the office of the vice president of the Philippines, Angat Buha Youth. Uh, yeah, the office of the vice president of the Philippines, Vice President Lenny Robredo. So they are a recipient of the grant in order to. Um, execute their proposed program, which is Pillar Peace 2022. It's a month, it's an activity to promote and raise awareness in battling the war against mental issues. So the team of uh, Dabalus and um, Olivete was able to uh, present their, their pitch program and they were chosen among others who also presented their own programs. So this was already implemented and uh, just recently. Okay, so our program is also, um, also won, uh, the film Tres Mil, which was also um, produced and directed by our very own students, Juan and uh, Cine Casimanua. So allow me to exit my, my uh, presentation, this uh, full screen, so that I can read the specific awards um, given to Tresmin. So there. Um, for Tresmin, um, Best in Sound Design, they won Best in Sound Design, Best in Visual Effects, Best and Best Actress in the six Kasi, Sini Kasimanwa Regional Film Contest. Okay. Next, okay, our students also uh, won uh, Best in Film, Best in Director, Best in Sound Design and Scoring, Best in Screenplay for the film Dayan. In Cinema Tahum and Ilongo Youth Film Festival. Okay, another one. Here. Uh, one of our students also won Best Video Entry for Panimad on Category Interschool Competition in celebration of the World AIDS Day 2020, 2018. So I would like to inform everyone that the films which our student students um, one are actually made inside the classroom as one of their requirements in their film classes and in their film class and at the same time it's also their entry in a film competition in school so they leveled up they, they didn't just um, presented it within uh, the university but they also tried to compete with other films from other schools next 
it's also our pride and honor to present to you our Miss Jessa Madeline Ganghe is also our alumni. She was first runner-up in the 15th ABS-CBN newscasting competition. And our recent victory, our recent achievement is um, having Mr. Juan Manuel de la Sena, our EBCOM 3 student, as one of GMA Regional TV 1 Western Visayas news anchor. So we are very proud to present that uh, these are our minor achievements, our, uh, our feats in the program. Now, I would like to present to you the film festivals, which, was, um, which, is, is, which is a common activity in our program since we have a film class. So the students were able to produce films for their class. And it started in um, Uflix. This is the 2018 entries. We have Tali, Dayan, Dahas, Butlak, and Agot. So these are the films produced by our students way back 2018. The 2019 ABCOM Film Festival. So these are the um, films that they were able to produce. And recently, despite the pandemic, they were able still to produce films for Cine... I'm sorry for that noise. So Cinecom 21 uh, Film Festival. So they produce, were able to produce the movie Kalas, Kasama, Pangitlon, Panagitlon, Pananglot, Nga Jutay, and Sabadan. So this is despite the challenge of the pandemic, our students were forced to stay at home. And yet they were able to produce films for Cinecom 2021. And now our students is also involved in live production, not just our students, but our faculty members as well. So if you're enrolled in our program, you will be, you will experience hands-on, hands-on, okay? So you will be, if you're enrolled in the program, you will have hands-on experience on live production where you will be the one handling the equipment, managing the show, managing the talents. So this is a very um, enriching experience for our students and our alumni who experience hands-on live production. So these are some of our pictures. So this was during um, Ibang Klase 2018, wherein our students were the one who produced the opening orientation program of the College of Liberal Arts, Sciences, and Education. This is during the first ever Facebook Live of the graduation. Uh, uh, commencement exercises of the university. The crew are from our, the crew comprise of our students and the program and the faculty members spearheaded also the team. Okay, these are our hosts during the FB Live of our commencement exercises. Um, the next photo would be. Um, this, are, this is the behind the scenes. So all of the students that you send the picture or all of the people you send the picture, I mean, our, are our students and alumni who serve as uh, the, the uh, behind the scene crew. No? They act as technical directors, um, audio man, playback operators, etc. cetera. Cameramen, talent coordinators, okay. So here's another picture of behind the scenes. Um, this picture was taken during Conferment 2018, I think, where we also produced the show for the conferment of our full professors. So as you can see, our students are there doing their um, respective production roles. And at the back is Ms. Aguirre directing the show. Okay, so these are also pictures taken, our students um, doing production work. And during the SEAP National Convention, which was held at Iloilo Convention Center, our students are also the production team of that biggest event of Catholic uh, Education Association of the Philippines. So you can see our students and alumni work together in our faculty in order to produce the, the show. And now I'm also proud to present to you our alumni placement. Nasaan na yung aming mga estudyante which we tra uh, who we uh, trained in our program, uh, who were exposed to live productions, film productions, events management, 
and all other activities in our program. So we have Imer Cedric Bordau is now the owner and CEO of his own company, Lubimta Films. So if you're familiar with Lubimta Films, the owner and CEO is a graduate of the ABCOM program of the University of San Agustin. We also have Ms. Noeline Marie Jocampo is now the videographer and editor of Mayad Production House. So if you're familiar with Mayad, then one of the team members is Ms. Noeline Marie Jocampo. We have Mr. Jay Palmares, who is now a director of Mayad Production House, um, directing weddings, events, etc. We have Mr. John Jesner Punsaran, who is a creative director to various events and beauty pageants. And Mr. Punsaran is also a public servant, being a um, barangay official in his um, barangay, Nabitasa, in Barangay Nabitasan, and, and also uh, in the La Paz district. Ms. Iris Maria Nonato is the Territorial Manager of Globe Telecommunications. Iris is now presently ass uh, assigned at Cebu City in the main office of Globe. We also have Ms. Carmela May Rodrigo, videographer and editor in the Iloilo City Mayor's Office social media team. So if you are watching um, the news of uh, Level Up Patrol <laughs> in the Facebook page of Mayor Jerry Trenya. So one of the videographers and editor, one of the one of the team members there is Miss Carmela May Rodrigo, who is um, doing the camera works and editing the whole, whole show. We have also Mr. Michael Angelo Sarate, who is an assistant videographer also of the Ililu City Mayor's Office social media team, and currently one of the reporters of Level Up Patrol, which is the news program produced by the Office of the Mayor. We have also Chex Vincent Pardilla. If you're listening to Love Radio, DJ Justin Barber is Mr. Chex Vincent Pardilla. Is also, we are also proud of Chex as being part of our program. Ms. Jessa Madeline Ganghe is a production and logistics um, person from GMA Regional TV. And JC Manayon is also our alumni, is the playback operator of GMA Regional TV. Both Jessa and JC are part of One Western Visayas. JC is also a freelance makeup artist, and FAC is a makeup artist of um, talents of GMA Regional TV. And we have Miss Ana Carmela Saul, who is also a freelance videographer and editor. So if you have watched the um, promotional video, which features the, the uh, arts program of the university. Miss Saul was the one who edited it together with her team. So she's also a provincial focal person of the Iloilo province for Relief International, partner of UNICEF. So I would like to end this presentation uh, in saying communication like breathing is so much a part of human life that we take it for granted. And this is where the problem begins. Communication, unlike breathing, cannot be taken for granted. Maslog 2014. So Dr. Crispin Maslog. So come and join us. Viva San Agustin, USA Kita. So if you're interested in the EB communication program, please do not hesitate to ask um, pair office regarding details. And if you have any also questions, I would be willing to assist you and answer all your queries. So I hope that we will see each other in the program. And um, I hope that if you will become part of the group program, you will be able to enjoy all the activities that we have at the same time, holding and shaping you to become future media professionals who is um, who shares the who share the values of Ulitas, Caritas, and Veritas in their practice of the profession. So this has been Rodaji Campilian. Thank you very much and have a nice day, everyone.